Imagine a world where owning a robot is not just a fancy, but an affordable reality. What if this advanced robot, capable of performing tasks with incredible speed and precision, could be yours for just $16,000? Yeah, you heard that right. Meet the Unitree G1, a revolutionary step in robotics that's about to change everything. But what makes this robot so special? And how does it compare to other high-end robots that cost a fortune? So uh, my name is Tony Young, and uh, I'm sales manager from Unitree Robotics. And, uh, here is our uh, CEO Xi Jin Wang and uh, also CPO for the company. So uh, this is a new size uh, robot we developed. So it's called G1. So G means uh, general purpose robot. One important feature of this robot is the actuator. The range of, of the actuator it, it's very wide. So a lot of uh, posture which human cannot do, but this robot can do it. In today's world, the integration of artificial intelligence and robotics has reached astonishing heights. The latest buzz is about Chinese company Unitree, which has just unveiled their G1 humanoid autonomous robot. This groundbreaking robot is set to revolutionize the industry, making advanced robotics more accessible than ever. Let's take a step back and introduce you to Unitree, a remarkable Chinese robotics company that has been making waves in the industry. Founded in 2016, Unitree initially focused on developing four-legged robots. One of their notable creations in this category is the Unitree B2. Now, you might have heard of another company, Boston Dynamics, famous for its four-legged robot, Spot, and its humanoid robot, Atlas. However, Unitree has not limited itself to just four-legged robots. They've expanded their expertise to include advanced humanoid robots as well. Fast forward to today, and Unitree is turning heads with its latest creation, the G1 Humanoid Autonomous Robot, priced at an astonishingly affordable $16,000. A few months ago, Unitree unveiled the H1 Humanoid Robot, capturing significant attention in the robotics community. The H1 can walk and run at incredible speeds, navigating through challenging terrains with ease and performing aerobatic skills such as backflips. Now, let's talk about that backflip. While Boston Dynamics Atlas can also perform this stunt, there's a catch. The Atlas often does its backflip from a raised platform, making it somewhat easier. Additionally, the Atlas uses hydraulic motors, unlike the H1, which relies on electric motors. This makes the H1 the first robot to execute a backflip using electric motors, and that too on flat ground. Impressive, right? Well, these feats are achievable through reinforcement learning in simulated environments. This means the robot learns and hones its abilities by performing millions of iterations in a virtual world before translating those skills to the real world. Just when the robotics world thought Unitree was focused solely on refining the H1, they surprised everyone by announcing the G1 humanoid robot. This announcement took many by surprise, highlighting Unitree's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what is possible while making advanced robotics more accessible. Now, the G1 robot is a game changer. It boasts impressive flexibility and speed, performing movements with agility that surpasses other humanoid robots like Figure 1 and Santry's Phoenix. The G1's ability to move rapidly and navigate complex environments showcases the advancements Unitree has made in robotics and AI. So, how does Unitree achieve such remarkable agility and performance? Through reinforcement learning, just like many other cutting-edge AI systems. The G1 undergoes rigorous training in a virtual environment, simulating real-world physics. This method allows for millions of iterations at a fraction of the cost and time it would take in real-life testing. Now, you might be wondering, how does this virtual training translate to real-world performance? Well, as long as the simulation accurately mirrors the physical laws of our world, the robot should seamlessly apply its learned behaviors in reality. This approach is similar to NVIDIA's Isaac Sim, where robots are trained in a virtual setting before being deployed in the real world, ensuring that the transition is smooth and efficient. Now, the G1's incredible performance is not just limited to basic movements. It demonstrates an impressive range of capabilities, from navigating tight spaces to performing complex tasks with precision. This level of skill and adaptability makes the G1 a versatile tool for various applications, 
from industrial tasks to potential users in home automation and beyond. However, it's essential to acknowledge the challenges that come with virtual training. While simulations can mimic reality to a remarkable degree, there may still be discrepancies. Factors like friction, gravity, and even air resistance must be accurately represented for optimal results. Otherwise, the robot's performance in the real world may deviate from expectations. Despite these challenges, the benefits of virtual training are undeniable. Not only does it save time and resources, but it also allows for safer experimentation. Imagine testing a high-risk maneuver countless times without putting anyone or anything in harm's way. It's a game changer for robotics research and development. When lying face up on the floor, the G1 showcases its agility by bringing up its knees, placing its feet flat on the floor and pushing up from a tripod position, with its head still touching the ground. From this stance, it executes a limbo-like maneuver, leaning its knees forward and using its core strength to lift its head and torso. In terms of performance, the G1 can run at a speed of 2 meters per second, equivalent to 4.4 miles per hour, which is comparable to a slow jog. The robot's arms have a maximum lifting capacity of 2 kilograms, or 4.4 pounds. Its joints offer a range of motions between 160 to 310 degrees, allowing for flexibility in its movements. Now, if you look at the demo of this humanoid robot, you might notice something intriguing. There's a clip of a person punching it. But don't worry, it's not about violence. They're actually showcasing how well balanced the robot is, even when it's punched or hit. However, some people are raising concerns about the implications. Moving on, the demonstration of the G1 robot smashing a walnut highlights its impressive strength. The robot's hand is powerful enough to act as a hammer, though it also crushes the walnuts inside, making it inedible. Another impressive display is the robot's ability to chop off the top of a Coke bottle with remarkable speed. Compared to other robots like Figure AI, Tesla's Optimus, or Sanctuary's Phoenix, the Unitree G1 is significantly faster. Additionally, the Unitree G1 showcases its precision by soldering objects and even flipping toast, a task that can be challenging for many humans. Overall, these demos emphasize the G1's advanced abilities in balance, power, speed, and precision, making it a standout in the world of humanoid robots. The G1 robot is equipped with hands featuring three fingers with force control, allowing for precise manipulation of objects. Optional tactile sensors can be installed, enabling the robot to touch and feel its environment. Weighing around 47 kilograms and standing 120 centimeters tall, the G1 is designed for impressive flexibility. Battery life is another strong suit of the G1, offering up to two hours of operation. So where does the future of robotics lie? With companies like Unitree pushing the boundaries of what's possible, the possibilities are endless. From autonomous companions to industrial workhorses, robots are poised to become an integral part of our lives. And with advancements in AI and virtual training, the pace of innovation shows no sign of slowing down. The G1 is just the beginning, and the innovations that follow will undoubtedly continue to shape the world of robotics and AI. Now, what do you think about this robot? Would you buy it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more.